let's make our way into the city. And uh, I walked down Grafton Street one sunny Sunday afternoon. There were buskers playing left and right. Now, some of them were very, very good and some weren't so good. But, you know, there was a crowd of people down towards the end and I made my way over there. And the reason they were there was because there was a street poet and he turned out to be Ireland's only street poet. And he, he actually makes money from his poetry. Now, how many people do you know that make money from poetry? Well, he does. His name is Pat Tierney, and uh, for a pound, he'll give you a recitation. In particular poem, one of the establishment poets of Ireland has died and wishes to contact an editor of a newspaper. And uh, it's called a message to the editor. Sir, the Lord pardon the people of this town because I can't. When I dropped dead in the street three weeks ago, I thought they'd bury me in style. A state funeral was the least of it, with the heads of government and the nobility in attendance. I even looked forward to the funeral oration in Irish, with a few words on my past achievements. Our greatest poet, a seat in heaven to the man, and how I deserved better. But did I get it? Huh. My corpse lay in Baggett Street for a fortnight before anybody noticed it. And when I was finally removed to the mortuary, I was abused by a medical student who couldn't open a bag of chips, let alone the body of our greatest poet. Then to add to the indignity, I was pushed into an icebox, and some fucker stuck a label on my big toe saying, Unknown bird. Probably foreign. Well... If it wasn't for a drunken cork man who thought I was his dead brother, I'd still be lying unclaimed. At least the man had the decency to bury me. But where am I? Boxed in some common graveyard, surrounded by peasants and people of no background. When I think of the poems I wrote and the great prophecies I made, I, I, I could choke. I can't write now because the coffin is too narrow and there's no light. I'm trying to send this message through a medium. But you know what they're like? Table tapping dastards reeking of ectoplasm. If you manage to receive this message, I'd be glad if you'd print it. There's no point in asking you to send me a copy. Sure, I don't even know my own address. <laughs>